Right. Hi, my name is Brittany Honeycutt. This is Haley. Um, she's going to be my body today for our test out. Um, Haley, are you okay if I use hands-on cues today yep. to kind okay. of fix you and adjust you? Yes. Okay. So um, I'm going to have you um, laying down on your back here, um, supine here to start. Good, and we're just gonna have our hands kind of making a diamond. I'm gonna explain the difference between neutral and imprint to you to start. So just below the navel, right below the belly button. Good, and then the pointer fingers facing down. And we wanna just pretend like there's a marble in between that diamond. Um, so first we're gonna start with a posterior tilt. So here on your exhale, you're gonna rock your pelvis back, drawing the pubic bone towards your nose. Good, so you're gonna feel how that, you lose that S curve of your lower spine here. You're pressing deeply into mat. That's gonna be your imprint. Good. Now you're going to do an anterior tilt, rocking forward there in the pelvis. Good. And then I want you to find the middle ground of that. So just halfway here, back into that imprint, halfway. Good. And then you have a light press into the lower spine. This would be our neutral. So I'm going to be cueing you through neutral a lot today and imprint if we need it. So just so you know, those are your difference. Um, and now we're going to start by taking our hands behind our head. We're going to start our first movement. So right now I want you to start in neutral. Um, elbows are nice and wide here, but first I want you to roll your um, shoulders up, back, and down there, drawing the shoulder blades down your lower spine there. Good. And then we're going to start in our closed kinetic chain here. So all that means is that our feet are staying grounded on the floor. Um, and we're going to have our knees bent just like they are. Going into our chest lift to start here for our flexion. So on your next exhale, you're going to lift in your head, neck, and shoulders. Good. Lifting from your deep core there. And then inhale, lowering all the way back down, keeping those elbows nice and wide. Good. You're going to inhale. Exhale, curl up, good, head, neck, and shoulders, and then inhale, lower. Beautiful, one more here, inhale, exhale, lift, good, and then all the way back down. Perfect, so now um, we're gonna go into our toe taps here. So now you're gonna press your palms into the sides of the mat by the seam line of your clothing. And we're gonna take our legs into what we call tabletop. So one leg at a time, I want you to rock back into imprint, so pressing the lower spine deep there into the mat, good. So in this 90 degree angle, we want to make sure that our knees are tracking over our hips here um, to start in tabletop. Um, and hinging from your hips, trying to keep this 90 degree angle in the knees the entire time. I want you to point your toes so that plantar flex. Good. And then one toe at a time, here, um, you're going to hinge from your hip, going down, tapping that toe, still keeping imprint with the lower spine, and then coming all the way back up to switch. Good. One more on each side there. Beautiful. Keeping that imprint, beautiful. And then coming all the way back up after that last one. Good, all right, so that was our open kinetic chain movement for your toe tap. So go ahead and one leg at a time, go ahead and lower back down into that um, closed chain. We're gonna go on into our hundreds. So um, adding flexion here, going back into that chest lift. I want you to start with your feet down. We're gonna do our beginner movement for our hundreds. So, uh, when I cue you through it, you just want to straight arms pressing those palms up and down just an inch, like kind of like a flutter or a pump, okay? So you're going to take a nice deep inhale here, and on your exhale, you're going to lift your head, neck, and shoulders for that flexion, gazing towards your inner thighs there, and you're going to start to pump for inhale, two, three, four, five, exhale, two, three, four, five, inhale, two, three, four, five, exhale, two, three, four, five, and lower with control. Good. Go ahead and take that. Deep breath, kind of adjust here. We're going to move on to our intermediate hundred. So now one leg at a time again, rocking back into imprint there only if you need to. So if you're starting to feel any lower back pain whenever you're in that open kinetic chain, you can rock back, pressing deeply into the mat. But for right now, if you can, try and keep neutral. Um, so keeping your legs in tabletop, knees are tracking over the hips. Let's go ahead and add that flexion of the spine again on your exhale, lift up. Good, and start to pump just up and down an inch. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Good, staying lifted here. Pause for just a second. We're gonna take this into an advanced movement. So extending our legs out to 45 degrees, straightening the legs, pointing the toes there. Good, start to continue to pump for inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Good, and lowering all the way back down, one leg at a time. Perfect, all right. So now we're gonna go ahead and sit, or um, turn around here. So we're gonna be prone, we're gonna do our swan here. So go ahead and turn around onto your stomach. Good. So when we're prone here, for your swan, you wanna be pressing your pubic bone into um, the mat. Our hips are gonna stay grounded here. And when you're pressing those palms deep into the mat, 
Good, starting with a nice long neck here, go ahead and roll those shoulder, shoulder blades up, down, and back here. And you're gonna exhale, press up into that extension of the spine, looking kind of gazing up towards the um, wooden part of the wall there, and then bending in the elbows. Inhale, go ahead and come all the way back down, facing the mat. Big inhale. Good, exhale, press all the way back up. Good, growing tall, and look up. Good, and then inhale, come all the way back down, bending in the elbows. And one more here, keep those hips grounded, press your toes into the mat, exhale, press, and gaze up there. Beautiful, and then inhale, come all the way back down. Perfect, so um, that was our swan. We're gonna go into rocking now. So when you're here, I want you to kind of reach and bend one knee at a time. So you're lifting that right leg, go ahead and reach for your right foot or ankle there, and then go ahead and bend the left knee, reach for the foot or ankle, good. So you're gonna be taking your big belly breaths here and on your exhale, you're gonna try and let off three breaths here. So you're gonna lift up into that extension of the spine. Good, engaging your back extensor muscles to keep you lifted. You're gonna try and rock back here, inhale and exhale, rocking forward, creating that motion. One, good, two, exhale and three, good. Go ahead and lower all the way back down, good. Take a nice deep inhale here. We're gonna do one more. Um, so go ahead and again, lift up in the chest just a little bit there, grabbing the right ankle and left. Good. Lifting up, using the back extensors, lifting the chest, pressing the pubic bone into the mat. Let's take an inhale, rocking back first, and then use that exhale out through the mouth to rock forward. Keep your neck long, looking up. Good. And then slowly lower all the way back down. Perfect. All right. <laughs> so now we're going to sit up here. Um, we're going to go into our mermaid. So I'm gonna explain your Z-sit position here. Um, so you're gonna take the leg that's closest to the springboard, bending in the knee, I want you to bring that foot in towards your glute there, good. And then the opposite leg, like you have it, is just gonna be bent, good, in front of your leg. Sitting up nice and tall, go ahead and roll your shoulders up, down, and back, good. And then growing tall through your um, right arm here, I want you to reach up to the ceiling and press your left palm into the mat. Good, you're gonna take a nice deep inhale. On the exhale, you're gonna be reaching forward, growing tall through the fingertips here as you reach. Take an inhale, come all the way back up, nice and tall. Inhale, exhale, reach, grow tall through the side body here and the lats, good. And come all the way back to center, inhale. Beautiful, one more time here. Exhale, growing tall through the spine and reach, holding it there, good. And then coming all the way back, beautiful. All right, Haley, so, now we're going into saw. I want you to start with your legs abducted out to the side. So wider than the um, distance of the mat here. Good. Arms are going to be out to the T. Roll those shoulders up, down, and back so you're sitting up nice and tall. Good. So adding our thoracic rotation here, I want you to think about taking your right pinky finger and chopping your left um, pinky toe. So add that rotation. You're going to take an inhale. On your exhale, I want you to act like you're chopping that finger. Three exhales here. Bouncing forward there, good, with control. Beautiful, come back to center, arms out to the side, and go ahead and rotate right finger to left, or left finger to right pinky toe. Good, come back to center. We're gonna do two more on each side. Good, inhale, exhale, one, two, three, come back to center, one more each side. Pinky to, yep, there we go. One more, back to center. One, two, and three. Perfect, all right. So now those were our saws. Um, we're gonna go into our sideline footwork. So I want you to lay on your side here. Go ahead and face the front of the studio. Good. So um, we're gonna start um, with our sweep. So we're gonna sweep our leg forward here. You can have that arm straight down in front of you there, relaxing your head. I want you to have this bottom leg bent in and that top leg is just gonna um, be extended out forward. But when we're here, um, we wanna make sure that we're hip over hip, shoulder over shoulder like you are, so keeping that alignment. And then engaging our core here, making sure that we're not rocking back and forth. And your um, top hand can be in front of your rib cage to keep you stable or on the side of your hip. Good, so I want you to start by lifting this leg up off the ground here, good. And then I want you to start with that plantar flex here, so go ahead and sweep your leg forward with control. Good, and then on your exhale, dorsal flex the foot, coming all the way back in line with your body. Good, exhale, sweep it forward, pointing the toes there for plantar flex, and dorsal flex all the way back. Good, and just one more here. Sweeping forward there, beautiful, all the way back, good. Still keeping our foot elevated off the ground here. I want you to take an inhale, we're gonna go into bend and extend. 
So tucking the knee in towards our chest on our inhale, exhale, driving through the bottom of our foot, extending all the way back out for that straight leg. Inhale in, good. And exhale, still keeping that core engaged so we're not rocking. Inhale, good. Exhale, press all the way back out. Beautiful, all right, go ahead and relax that leg. Perfect, so we are gonna move on to the reformer now. So, um, Haley, you're a little bit taller, so just so you're comfortable, I want you to stand up really quick here so I can extend your carriage out just one gear. So we always wanna make sure that we just have one red spring here. I'm gonna lift up this and press out just one. For footwork today, Haley, um, I'm gonna do two reds and one green, but I wanna explain to you that our two greens on the outside are gonna be our heaviest spring setting that we have. The reds towards the middle are gonna be kind of that medium sweet spot tension that we have. And then the blue in the middle is gonna be the absolute lightest spring, okay? So go ahead and lay down with your head on the headrest. And I'll lift this up just a little bit for you. Good. Your shoulders are going to be up against the shoulder rest and your feet are going to be on the foot bar. So um, we are going to start with our um, parallel here with our heels on and our legs are going to be abducted apart just to hip distance. So um, go ahead and have your heels just a little bit higher here and we're going to dorsal flex our feet up to the ceiling. Feel like you're pressing up against a wall. I want you to roll your shoulders up back and down, drawing those shoulder blades down there and then pressing our palms and our triceps in to the carriage here, you're gonna take a nice deep inhale. On your exhale, not over hyper extending the knees here, go ahead and press out nice and long here, pressing away through your heels, good. And then inhale, think about using the hamstrings behind the legs as the carriage pulls you back in. So you wanna try and control that carriage. And then as you press, you're firing up your glutes. So kind of think about that mind-body connection here. And we should still be in that neutral lower spine, just that light press into the carriage, good. Deep inhale, exhale, you're gonna press out one more time. Beautiful, and then come all the way back in. Perfect, so um, that was our parallel position with our heels on. I'm gonna change your spring load, Haley, to one red and one blue. We're gonna go into some single leg footwork. So, that was so now we're gonna take our right leg into a tabletop position, so that 90 degree angle where our knee is tracking over our hip. Good, um, so still in a neutral lower spine here, unless we need to, if our lower back starts to hurt, we'll try and go into that imprint. Pressing through our right heel, we wanna make sure that the heel is tracking with the knee and the hip. You're gonna take a nice deep inhale and on your exhale here, go ahead and press yourself away. Good, not over hyper extending that knee. Inhale, come in using the hamstrings. Exhale, press. Good, inhale in one more time here and exhale, press out. Beautiful, control it coming back in. Perfect. So um, we're going to go into our advanced movement, which is going to be our develop peg. So I want you to take um, your right heel into tabletop again here. Good. And making sure that the knee is tracking over the hip, keeping this 90 degree angle. Um, our left toes are going to be on the foot bar now. Good. So keeping neutral lower spine, pressing our palm into the sides of the carriage. I'm going to inhale, exhale, go ahead and extend, press all the way out here. Good. Hold it here. Take that right leg to the ceiling here, and you're gonna dorsal flex both of your feet. Good, letting the heel drop, feeling that stretch. And then plantar flex, exhale, point onto the toes. Good, bend in that knee. Good, and inhale, coming all the way back in, you're gonna extend that right leg straight over the foot bar. Good, we're gonna do this two more times. Inhale, exhale, tabletop leg, press out. Holding it here, extend the right leg up to the ceiling. Good, dorsal flex, let the heels drop. Feel that stretch, exhale, point, uh, plantar flex. Good, pointing the toes, bend in the knee here. Inhale, bring it all the way back and extend that right leg over. Good, one more. Inhale, exhale, press, tabletop, extend the right leg. Good, dorsal flex, let the heels drop. Good, plantar flex, pointing up on the toes, bend in the knee. Inhale, come over, extend that leg over the foot bar. Good, go ahead and place both of your feet back on the foot bar. We're gonna go into our bridging series. So I'm gonna have you on two reds and one green. Okay, for bridging, um, and I want you to just make sure that your headrest is nice and flat here so we can protect the cervical spine there and our neck. Um, so for bridging today, we're gonna start with our articulated bridges. So I'm gonna have your heels on, hip distance apart there. Good, we're gonna press our palms and pressing through our triceps here to keep us grounded into the carriage. Go ahead and roll those shoulders up, down, and back. Good, and I want you to think about on your inhale, or on your exhale, you're sinking your ribs down towards the carriage there. So we're not popping or flaring our rib cage. So inhale, good, exhale, sink down. We're gonna start to articulate here. So rocking the pelvis back, good. One vertebrae at a time, you're gonna lift up into that high bridge. Inhale, one vertebrae at a time, you're gonna slowly roll the spine back down and the pelvis is the last thing to hit the carriage. We're gonna do two more. Inhale, exhale, rock that pubic bone towards your nose. Good, inhale, upper back, middle back, 
lower back, tailbone, pelvis area is the last thing. Inhale, exhale, rocking up. Good way to keep the rib cage flat in there, not popping or flaring, and slowly articulate down. Beautiful. All right. So now we are going to go into our extended bridges. So I want you to articulate back up on your next exhale. So inhale, exhale, one vertebrae at a time. Good. Holding it here, I want you to take another deep inhale, keeping our glutes lifted here, Haley. You're going to inhale, exhale, press out, not over or hyperextending the knees. And then inhale as you come in, you're pretending like your knees are shooting across the studio. You're coming back into that high bridge. And then inhale, exhale, press. Good, keeping a neutral spine, coming in, knee shoot, inhale, exhale, press all the way back out. Beautiful, coming in, and then from here, go ahead and articulate one vertebrae at a time. Pelvis is the last thing to hit. Beautiful, so we're gonna go into our single leg bridges now. So the articulated bridge was our beginner, um, and that extended bridge was gonna be our intermediate. We're gonna do advanced now. So you're gonna start into a hinge bridge. So I want you to have your feet hip distance apart here. So I've duck there, good. So. Um, we're gonna press our palms deep into the carriage here, taking a nice deep inhale, keeping a neutral spine. You're gonna inhale, exhale, glutes and spine are gonna float up like a balloon at the same time. Good. And then your right leg is gonna come into that tabletop position. Beautiful. On your inhale, keeping lifted through that left heel, you're gonna inhale, take the glutes down towards the carriage tap, and then exhale, press all the way back up. Good. Inhale, lower, find your control. Exhale, press. One more here, you're doing great. Inhale, lower. Exhale, press, good. Staying lifted, find the foot bar here, and then inhale, lower all the way back down in that hinge. Good, perfect. So now we're gonna go into our supine arm. So I'm gonna change you to just one red spring. So I'm gonna hand you your short loops behind you. Um, and for our supine arm movements, we're gonna be holding that open kinetic 90 degree angle for tabletop the whole time. So I want you to rock into imprint first. So rocking the pelvis back, pressing that um, lower spine in, deeply into the carriage, one leg at a time comes into tabletop. Good, making sure the knees are tracking over the hips there. And then we wanna make sure that we're engaging those deep core muscles, the transverse abdominis 360 around, okay? so. Keeping that engaged the entire time and thinking when you're pressing with straight arms here for your lower and lift, you're using your serratus and your lats on your sides there, okay? So rolling our shoulders up, down, and back. You're going to press, inhale, exhale, come all the way back up on that inhale. Good. Exhale, press here. Good. Inhale, lift, just pressing to the seams lines of our closing, clothing all the way back down. Good. Coming all the way back up here, I want you to hold it here. Good. So still keeping our legs in tabletop, we're going to go into our arm circles. So controlling this movement here, I'm going to inhale, exhale, press my arms down towards the carriage. Good. Inhale, arms go out to a T, just at shoulder height, and then you come all the way back up over your shoulders with control. Good. Exhale, press down, inhale out to the T. Good. With control up to the ceiling. One more. Exhale, press. Out to the side, inhale. Good, good, perfect. All right, so go ahead and find the foot bar there, and then let's go ahead and dock your strap. So that was our supine arms. Um, now we are gonna go into our um, feet and strap. So go ahead and come just a little bit so I can change your spring load. So we're gonna be on one red and one blue here. Um, when you're here, Haley, I want you to hold on to your right loop, your big loop first. And I want you to press away with your left foot, bringing that right knee into your um, chest, hooking that right foot in, beautiful. And then we'll grab our left loop and pressing through the right foot, go ahead and bring that left foot in, perfect. So we're gonna start with our um, lower and lift. So straight legs are gonna be to the ceiling here, just right over the hips, pressing those palms into the sides of the carriage and keeping a neutral lower spine. So think about when you press, you're pressing with your hamstrings behind your legs here. On your exhale, you're going to press down towards the carriage just about 45 degrees to where we can still press the lower spine into the carriage. And then you're going to inhale, bring those legs up over the hips. Good. Exhale, press down 45 degrees. Inhale, back up over your hips. One more here. Exhale, press. Good. We're going to hold it down here um, and we are going to go into our bend and extend. Um, so I want you to uh, duck the legs together here, take a nice deep inhale, and you're going to tuck your knees in towards your chest, just over the hips there, exhale, press back out, inhale, tucking the knees in there, good, exhale, press, beautiful, one more here, inhale in, 
and exhale back out. Beautiful. All right. So one foot at a time, go ahead and bend those knees in. One foot at a time, we're going to take our foot out of the strap, finding that foot bar. And go ahead and just switch there. Beautiful. Go ahead and dock. Okay. All right, Haley. So um, now that I have you on one red, we're going to go into our bicep curl. So facing um, the mirror here, facing straps. Go ahead and grab those short loops. Sitting up nice and tall here. And when you're here, you can also have your legs extended through the shoulder rest. Um, that's another option here for our beginner movement. We're going to start by flipping the palms up to the ceiling, how they are now, and our arms are going to be lifted to shoulder height. Good. We're going to take a nice deep inhale first. Go ahead and roll your shoulders up, down, and back. Good. On your exhale, bend in the elbows, bringing the forearms towards your head there. Slow release. Inhale. Good. Exhale, curl. Perfect. Inhale, release. One more here. Exhale, curl. Good. And then all the way back out with control. Beautiful. All right, go ahead and dock those straps. Um, we're going to take this from beginner to intermediate. So I want you to come onto your knees carefully. And when you're doing this, you want to make sure that those knees are all the way up against the shoulder rest here. Good. Go ahead and reach for those short loops again here. We're going to go into our chest expansion. So making sure our core is nice and engaged here to keep us from not rocking forward. Okay. Um, so Palms are going to face behind my body. I'm starting just right where you are, right about in your hip area. Sitting nice and tall, roll the shoulders up, down, and back. You're going to inhale, exhale, press behind the body, opening up the chest. Inhale, let the arms come back towards the hips. Exhale, press. Good. Finding that control. One more. Inhale, exhale. Beautiful. All right. Carefully go ahead and dock those straps here. Um, and we're just going to turn around. So we're going to go into arms here, facing the center aisle, and I'm just going to change your spring load um, so that you are on a blue spring. Um, and go ahead and just reach for those short loops behind you, Haley. You're going to go into presentation first here. So sitting up nice and tall again, roll those shoulders up, down, and back. Nice long neck here, looking straight ahead. Presentation, we're going to start with our elbows by the sides of our ribcage. So this would be our beginner movement. I'm going to inhale, exhale, press my arms up and out to shoulder height. Good. Inhale, bring those elbows by the back or by the sides of your rib cage. Exhale, press. Good. Inhale, come in with control and exhale, lift. Good. Beautiful. Coming all the way back in. So now we're going to take this into an intermediate and we're going to do our um, shade the head here. So go ahead and take your hands here behind your head. Good. Elbows are going to be all nice long neck. And I'm going to hinge forward just a little bit in the hips. Good. On your exhale, you're going to start with your shoulder blades drawn together, pinched together there. And on your exhale, you're going to elongate your arms, pressing up to the ceiling. Good. Inhale, shoulder blades pinch in together. Bring those elbows out wide. And exhale, press up to the ceiling. Good. Inhale, come in. One more time. Big exhale, shave the back of your head. Good. Bend in those elbows, come all the way back in. And then one arm at a time, go ahead and come out of that position there. Beautiful. All right, shake it out if you need to. You can go ahead and dock your straps. We're gonna move on um, to short box abs. So go ahead and stand up for me here. Um, I'm gonna make sure that all of your springs are on the carriage for safety. Excuse me. I'm gonna take your short box here up against our shoulder rest. Try to make sure that it's kind of centered in the middle of our carriage. Right? You can go ahead and sit down here. Perfect. And then I'm going to take this black safety strap here, Haley. Go ahead and put your feet in. Perfect. When you're here, you want to make sure that you just have about a handprint's distance, just a little bit there if you can, behind your butt. And then when your feet are in the strap, you're going to um, take them as far apart as way as possible, so abduct them apart. And then you're going to dorsal flex the feet up to the ceiling. Good. So up, uh, rolling our shoulders up, down, and back. Nice, tall, seated position. We're going to do our roll back with rotation first. Okay. So stacking one far forearm on top of the other. Good. You're gonna go back into your hinge on your inhale. So lowering to where we can feel our abdominals engaged. So go ahead and inhale, lower back. Good. Holding it here, I'm gonna drive my elbows from right to left, adding that spinal rotation. Good. And then coming back to center, I'm gonna use my exhale to bring it all the way back up to that tall seated position each time. Inhale, lower back, rolling it back. Good. Rotate right to left back to center and using your deep core muscles to come all the way back up one more time inhale lower hold it rotate beautiful all the way back to center and all the way back up tall beautiful all right 
So now we're gonna take just one foot out of the strap. We're gonna go into our um, side overs here. So this is gonna be um, a little bit more advanced here. So I want you to point your toes towards the front of the studio there, Haley, good. Bending one knee on the box. I'm gonna have you sitting up nice and tall. So rolling your shoulders up, down, and back here. Good, taking your hands behind your head. Beautiful. And elbows are gonna be out wide here. Think about strengthening the obliques and the lats here. As you go down for your side over, you're gonna drive your elbow deep into the headrest there, keeping it nice long in the side body, and then using that exhale to contract, come all the way back there. Exhale, lengthen there. Beautiful. Exhale, come back up. One more time there. Exhale, lengthen, drive. So now um, we are gonna move on to some of our prone movements here on the reformer. So I want you to take your foot out of the safety strap there. And um, we're just gonna be on one blue spring. Go ahead and step off the side of the carriage. <laughs> Good. So we're gonna go into a long box now. So still up against the shoulder rest. Haley, um, with both your hands on the corners of the box facing the mirror, I want you to slide on, laying onto the box, um, one foot at a time. Good. So when you're here for your prone movement, I want you to think about pressing your pubic bone and your hips into the box. Um, engaging the legs, pointing the toes, good, nice long length and legs there, engaging the thighs here. And we're going to start by choking up on the ropes for pulling straps. Okay, so when you're here, we are going to add our extension, but we're going to progress into that. I want you to think about um, engaging your back extensor muscles here as you press the pubic bone into the box. Starting here, crown of our heads being pulled straight through the mirror to start. Arms are going to be straight up under our shoulders to start. We're going to take a nice deep inhale. On your exhale, you're gonna pull those arms straight back towards your hips. Good, inhale, let the arms come back down. Exhale, all the way back up, press. Good, inhale, coming back down. Good, one more here, straight arms, press. And inhale, lower. Good, so now you're gonna to start to add your extension, Healy. So as you pull back now, you're gonna inhale, exhale. I want you to think about lifting your chest here. Good. Pressing the pubic bone into the box, looking straight through the mirror for the extension, and then inhale, coming all the way back down as the arms come under the shoulders. Inhale, exhale here, lifting up for the extension. Good. Looking straight ahead. Inhale, lower back down. You're going to do one more here. Inhale, exhale. Good. And come all the way back under. Beautiful. Go ahead and drop those straps. And then again, one leg at a time, Haley, I want you to come off the side of the box there carefully. Perfect. So um, we are going to go into our plank prone movement. So now I'm gonna change you to just one red hook. And you're gonna carefully come onto the um, carriage uh, on your knees and your hands are gonna be on the foot bar. Your feet to start are gonna be all the way up against the shoulder rest here, good. So hands are gonna be underneath your shoulders, so make sure those are in line, good. And then when you're pressing out, I want you to think about keeping a neutral spine. You're gonna be pressing out into this plank position. We're gonna do our jackrabbits here for our beginner movement, um, or our intermediate movement, excuse me. So you're gonna take a nice deep inhale here. On your exhale, you're gonna lift those knees off the carriage, pressing into the palms, pressing all the way out. Good, and then on your inhale, keeping your knees lifted off the carriage, you're gonna bend in the knees, let the carriage come in, Knees are under your hips, and then exhale, press all the way back out. Good, two more, inhale in, exhale, press. Good, one more here, inhale in, beautiful, exhale, press, good. So now you're gonna go into your advanced movement, Haley, is gonna be your push-up, okay? So as you go down on your inhale, bringing your chest towards, I want you to think about pinching the shoulder blades and then elongating as you press through your arms. Inhale, chest comes down, exhale, press, not dipping the hips here, neutral spine. Beautiful, exhale, press. Good, coming in, let your knees hit the carriage. Beautiful, all right, so that was it for our plank prone movement. Um, we're gonna go ahead and stand up and we're going to move on to the jump board now. So, for jump board here, I'm gonna make sure that my um, foot bar is locked down to the first lock and I'm gonna make sure that I just have one red hook on and I'm gonna place the wooden part back into that slot there and come into the front. I'm gonna tighten these just a finger tight, um, not wrist tight so that I can get that off later. And then, do you still wanna press out? Is that still good? Okay, go ahead and lay back down. 
and I'll walk you through some of our important things to remember here when we're jumping. So um, we want to make sure that when we're landing, we're landing toe ball heel on our jump board and we want to make sure that we're landing in the upper third there so that if we're not landing too low, it won't go into our lower back. Okay, so upper third there and then we just want to try and land softly on the carriage but dropping away there with that power. Um, we're going to start with a parallel jump. So feet are hip distance apart, press those palms. Let's find a neutral lower spine and go ahead and roll your shoulders up, back and down before you start. Good. Take a nice deep inhale here. Exhale, go ahead and jump away, Haley. Good, bending in the knees to catch yourself. One more, or two more. Good, inhale, exhale. Beautiful. All right, so that was parallel. parallel. We're gonna go into our staggered jump here. So I want you to start with your right foot higher than your left. Beautiful, so still hip distance apart. You're gonna jump away and when you land, Haley, your left foot is gonna be higher, or yeah, your left foot is gonna be higher than your right. Good, just kind of switching back and forth. Good, we're gonna do four here. That's two, two more. Beautiful. Good, and land. Perfect, so that was our staggered jump. Our last one we're gonna do is mobile. So our legs are gonna be abducted together there. Good, so zip together. Um, our feet are gonna be glued together as well and we're gonna be going into mobile. So, as you jump away here, Haley, like you're skiing, think about flexing in your hips. I want you to think about keeping neutral, jump away, and when you land, both your feet are gonna to point towards the right, and then jump away again, both feet pointing towards the left. But keeping those feet glued together here. Good. Lower abdominals are working here. Just do one more. Perfect. All right, go ahead and come all the way back in. And then I want you to go ahead and carefully come off the side of your carriage. Go ahead and sit up here. Um, I'm gonna explain really quick. So if you have any pregnant clients, um, we do have the option to use um, the jump board as a wedge. So we have that black um, wedge in the back that we keep here. We have two of them actually. Um, so you can also use the jump board as a wedge, having um, it up, propped up here on the shoulder rest just like this. That way our pregnant clients stay elevated because we don't want them to lay down. Um, longer than five minutes because it's not good for the baby for the blood flow and we also here have them Elevated so that it's higher than the baby's heart and that they are elevated above the pelvis All right, so that's pretty much it. Okay, perfect. Yay, thank you <laughs>